I will tell you why not. Because the second Harold sets foot in this place, it will burst his little 70s bubble. It won't burst his bubble if it looks like the 70s. You cannot be suggesting that we redecorate the precinct. The bare bones of this place will totally work. We just need to take away the computers and put back the typewriters. No! No, absolutely not. People tried to kill Harold because he knows who murdered Vince. This is the only way we can get him to talk to us. He's the only lead we have. Captain Gates will never go for it. Captain Gates isn't here. You're in charge. And what about all the other cops? Their clothes are a dead giveaway. Not if you, as ranking officer, Order them to come to work dressed in 1970s clothing. I've opened an account at a costume shop at no small expense. They're going to help us in our little endeavor by providing 1970s police uniforms. Castle! This will be a minor disruption. We redress the squad room just long enough to walk Harold through, let him dig on that 70s vibe, and then he gives us a statement. It worked before, it'll work again. The morgue was one room. You're talking about an entire 70s makeover. That is a massive undertaking. Which is why I've called a specialist of sorts. No. Yes, my mother is going to come help us coordinate. You're doing this for your mother? No, of course not. A little bit, yes. Well, we did say we'd give her a project. Yeah, for our wedding, not for my precinct. Let's face it. We cannot let that woman anywhere near our wedding. But she will love this. And then we get to solve the greatest mystery of the disco era. Besides the popularity of disco itself. It's a win-win. I highly doubt that. But I don't see a better option. No. You are so doing the right thing. And trust me, you will thank me. Now, take a good look around. Get a fond farewell. Because by tomorrow, it'll be the 70s.